handbags that are just living rent free in my head, in my noggin, and they won't get out. and welcome back. Yes, these 10 different designer handbags from 10 different designer brands are living rent-free in my head and I can't get rid of them so you're gonna have to help me out. Welcome back everybody. It is great to see you all here. Thank you so much for being with me in this video and I would just love to know if you're having the same problem as me. Are there any handbags you're lusting after right now? You know that lust feeling? You can't get enough of it. Well, let's start with number one. Number one is the Alaya Latekel bag. Oh my god, this bag, I just, I can't stop, stop scrolling, I can't stop looking at it and googling and Pinterest ideas and pictures. I think it's just the juxtaposition of that beautiful large top handle long strap and then the very thin little, I just love the architecture, the geometry, the asymmetry, I think it's just so, so beautiful. Now it's not that cheap and I was looking up different colours that it might be coming in, so it is in the black at the moment and I think it is coming in in many many different colors so if you want to wait for like a pastel color maybe that's gonna come or the greens that I've been loving lately or maybe the blues it is a stunning bag it's not cheap I think the goatskin one is 1980 and the one with the studs is 2200 but I came across this other beauty the other day and thank you to a couple of my subscribers thanks so much guys I put it out in my community post that I was like does anybody know what this bag is I was watching a YouTube video and I saw it and the youtuber never said which bag it was anyway it turned Turns out it was the Comme de Garçon elongated leather tote bag and look at this bag it is so like the Alaya bag but I think it's only for it's about 600 euro but problem is it's completely sold out completely sold out can't find it anywhere but I'm gonna be patient and wait because I just between those two bags I just love the roundness at the edges the zip goes all the way to the edges black and silver it's quite cool it's very edgy and i just think what a very classic outfit whether it be nice coat or a very elegant and feminine kind of suit pants or something it would just give it that mm, je ne sais quoi you know it would just give it that punch that an outfit needs to make it yours to market and to just say i know how to style my outfits i wouldn't just have any old handbag with this and this is just a little bit different a little bit edgy and very very cool so the alaya la tecle or come de garçon elongated leather tote are living rent free number two what's been living rent free in my head is none other than bottega now there's two here from Bottega I have to say am I going to pull the trigger on any of these bags I don't know I don't know I've been very good the only bag I've bought this year been very good I mean come on Viv it's only March the only bag I've bought this year so far is the Celine Triumph which I am just loving Love that bag. But I am also loving, I have to say, the Bottega in the size, the Jody, believe it or not, in the size teen or small, not sure, but it's the colour, the colour, ladies, that I love, and it is the travertine. Oh my God, this travertine colour has me by the, you know what, you know, it just has me, has my heart, has everything. I, again, I'm on the couch in the evening, I'm scrolling, 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 looking for this bag. I just love that colour. I know I have the parakeet in the Jody in the mini size, but I think the teen or the small in the travertine would be but not yet, not yet. I'm going to be patient, you know? All good things come to those who wait. So they say, so that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> The other one from Bottega that I just absolutely love, oh, it's the colour as well, and I'm not on my own here. I know a lot of my friends here on YouTube have been loving this bag, and it is the Long Andiamo clutch in the burgundy. I just think this bag, again, I'm loving the East West. I'm loving it, I have to say. I love the Entrecicato, absolutely love it, and the colour burgundy, and the simplicity, and I just think it's gorgeous. Now, when I got my Oleada wave bag, that sort of East West, West appetite was a little bit satiated for a while but this Andiamo clutch is beautiful I'm just thinking though Viv come on now how much would you wear this bag girl how much how much come on how much tell me so I don't think very much to be very honest with you but I just think it is gorgeous so moving on from Bottega then of course Karen Britchick had to pop up didn't she in all her beauty and gloriousness and arrive with this beautiful Saint Laurent bag I'm sure you've all seen it patent it's like a chocolatey burgundy oh my god God, it is divine and it's the Anne-Marie shoulder bag 
and I'll put in pictures of it here. I am gone crazy on these clutch style bags, these kind of 1950s, 1920s vintage style, but it's 2,400 euros, so it's not cheap at all. Even though I'm loving the patent, can you imagine your little fingerprints all over that bag? But you know, you'd have someone to wipe it down for you. They, they, you get over those problems. Loving this, they also have it in another shape, more of a hobo shape, because this one, the Anne Marie is kind of like a square box, which is the one that Karen Fritchick has. But I also love it in the kind of hobo style and that one is called the Sadie mirrored bag and it is 2088 I think and again in the burgundy chocolate elegant understated there aren't logos all over it uh, classy and just oh divine now the next one moving on is one I've been eyeing up for a long time and haven't really talked about it that much I think I will definitely eventually get this bag but there's no rush on it and that is the vintage Kelly 28 from Hermes in a box leather whether it be black in the 28 in a vintage or in the burgundy again you know, I'm just mad on burgundy lately. You know what, I, initially I was looking at this bag in the Epsom stitching, right? But to be very honest with you, with my lifestyle, and I've been looking back on it, I think the Epsom and the Cellier would be amazing if you got it in a 25. But I think in a 28, and to wear it kind of that casual chic kind of look would be nice, the 28 Retourne, or Retourne in the either box, or in the bur black, or in the burgundy, I think would be just divine in the vintage. So if anybody sees a few, I know there's a lot in the market at the moment. I have been scrolling, I've been doing my homework. But I'm, you know, gonna be patient. But I just think, oh yes, I think the 28 for me, because I think the Cellier Epsom the 25 is gorgeous but I mean how many dinners do I go to you know how many events do I go to let's be very honest not very many so the 28 return I could wear day to day running around looking cool in my jeans that kind of you know Mary Kate Olsen look as if it do you get my meaning though you know the next one then talking about the Alaya Latecco bag Kate also have a bag very very similar to the Alaya Latecco bag but you know what for some reason Alaya is doing it better there's just a little bit more shape a little bit more structure a little bit more je ne sais quoi but what I do love about Kate is they have this bag and it's called a Lilith bag. Now this is an evening bag and it has been all over social media. Again, it has the little kiss lock closure at the top, which I just love. Very vintage vibes. It comes in a beautiful cream color. It's more kind of elongated, kind of a clutch looking. It also has a little top handle, a little chain. Really dainty, it's like 1920s kind of style. Also that can come in the black as well, but I just think the cream is just divine. That particular bag is 1,900 and it's a Lilith bag. Moving on from there then, I have this crush on Loewe, of course, who doesn't? Again, in the burgundy. And which one is it, Viv? Which one is it? Yes, it's the flamenco purse. That beauty. Oh my God. The Napa leather looks just it's like I want to squash it. I want to squeeze it. I want to sleep on it. I want to use it as a pillow. It looks so smushy. But the chain got me. The little ears. The whole lot. The burgundy. It's the mellow Napa and the lambskin. It's 2,700. It's not cheap. We know it's not cheap, but like, come on. Like, the burgundy and it is just oh I just absolutely love it so if anyone wants to you know buy one for me I am um, you know what I, I, I. Bring it on, bring it on, bring it on. Now, in at number seven, there are two from Jack Moose. Jack Moose, I think, are kind of knocking it out of the park lately. I didn't go for their mini bags way back or any of those kind of things. But what I am loving lately, and funnily enough, this one has been around since last year, and it's La Pochette Ronde Car Clutch. And this one, I know Cassie has it in the silver, which I just think is beautiful. It looks like a brown paper bag folded up, but the two knobs, if you like, on the either side, one is round, one is square. I just think it's so gorgeous. I have to say it's 850 euro but it's now coming in the leather in the black which I think is gorgeous but if I was ever to get that bag I think I'd go for the silver I mean you might as well do you know what I mean just go for the silver it's just gorgeous the other one I love from Jack Moose at the moment is Le Petit Colino and again the architecture the structure of this bag it's been coming down the runways hard and again the circular handle on it if you ask me kind of Tom Ford vibes in the back in the day in the noughties and the 90s you know it's very very elegant it's very simple it's very just understated and I love it the circular handle and then the little pouch leather just 
gorgeous and again that one is about 890 euro and at number eight something from the robe and no it's not the Margot it is not the Margot I adore the Margot am I going to spend seven or eight thousand euro on a Margot no my friend that is not happening why is that not happening Viv because I don't have enough uses for it for number one and if I wanted it I would want it in the suede and the suede I would take traveling and it would get ruined and I just think it is it is so beautiful there is no denying that bag is beautiful the suede get it in the like 15 size oh ooh. Ooh, shivers down my spine. It's so gorgeous. But what I do love, another one I love, is the Abbey bag. Have we seen the Abbey bag? Again, it's chocolate. It has a little top handle. It has a clutch vintage vibe. And it comes in for the more affordable price of 1580 Actually, there's a lovely girl on YouTube called Leila Sophia. You should check her out. She's a lovely, lovely, very, very kind of uh, different collection of handbags. She loves the row. Actually, she pretty much has every row bag. She has an eclectic collection and she also does vintage jewellery so shout out to Le Leila Sophia lovely lovely girl and I think she has this bag and she was the one actually when I was watching her YouTube channel that I saw it on and I thought ooh that is a bit of me that one very very simple very understated very elegant very beautiful now we are nearly there can you guess the last two brands number nine this one just kind of snuck up on me I have to say snuck up on me because it's you know it's not this year or last year it came out this one came out a couple of years ago and it is the Fendi light blue denim double F embroidery Mini baguette, this beauty. Light blue denim with the FFs all over it, with the not even like caramel brown trim. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. If anybody finds this bag, this bag it has me all over it. Like I know denim is in, Louis Vuitton's denim is in, but this bag, if anyone sees it, please let me know because it's sold out everywhere. And if it's not sold out, the price is just bloody ridiculous. So I really love that bag. I just think it's casual, but it's fun and it's denim and it's summer with a white dress on holidays, squishy, beautiful. I think it's gorgeous. It sells for $2,150 in the mini size, but again, it's sold out and it can't be got. I'm sure it will come back in at some point, but if anybody sees it or hears of it or anything like that, please let me know. I love that bag. So last but not least, now this is very unexpected, I have to say, because this is a brand I haven't looked into very much. And I have found two bags that I am absolutely loving from Jill Sander. Has anybody bought bags from Jill Sander? Well, these two bags oh, have just kind of crept up on me. The first this one is the canola bag. Like, come on. I, I suppose it's got that Alaya, the Tekel, or the Comme de Garçon elongated leather tote vibes. It's just like, it's a canola shape under your arm. It's so cool. It's so understated. It's so like ugh, effortless, effortless chic. That is what I adore. It's effortless. It's like you threw it on. Didn't even think about your outfit. Look at the shape of that bag. There's just something different about it. It's not your run of the mill shape, but just beautiful and comes in at like a great price. One of them on Setire down from 1,709 euro to 753. Obviously, no, it's not going to hold its values if it's down that much, but that's a great bargain. I also saw one on Vestia for 789 euro. Like, come on, these bags are one was black, the other was kind of white cream. Then the other one I fell in love with from Jill Sander was their cream, the white goji small bag. And again, it is a kiss lock, of course. Gone mad on this kiss lock. My grandmother had lots of kiss lock bags. I just really, really love them. I actually bought a little purse the other day from Etsy. I must show it to you. It's burgundy. It's just a very small purse, but it's a uh, kiss lock. And it's like a really granny purse, but it's just divine. Like if you're running out on your urns and you don't need anything, just like a purse and your phone, off you go. Your little bit of burgundy with your jeans. Again, gorgeous. But this Jill Sander white goji small is 1880 and I saw that on 24s they are my picks what do you think are you surprised they're a bit different there's no Chanel there's no Birkins there's no Louis Vuitton you know something different because I'm getting bored of seeing the same things over and over and over again, to be very honest, which I'm flicking past. Just what happens in life. We kind of move on and we just kind of go, all right, watch that for two years. Time to move on. Pick something else. Anyone with me? Comment down below. Okay. Love you lots. I know. I'm in good form today. It's Easter weekend in Ireland. Happy Easter, everybody. I hope you all have a wonderful, holy, peaceful, family orientated and just a delightful Easter holiday. And until next time, be kind, be safe and be compassionate. Love you lots. Mwah.